Welcome to the Brawler Henry and You Show. I am your host, Henry Harris. Welcome to the Brawler Henry and You Show. I am your host, Henry Harris. Thank you so much for taking this opportunity to watch the show today. Today we have a powerful, impactful, inspiring episode for you today. And today I wanna to come and talk about the art of being present. The art of being present. You know, it's important to be present. It's important to put yourself in a position where no matter what's going on around you, the, the many obstacles that life may throw at us, and God knows we all go through those things, um, sometimes it can bring a lot of distraction. It can bring distraction to the point where uh, you feel like you're losing focus. And sometimes we just need to refocus again. We need to get back on track. We need to start to focus on those things that we would consider a priority in our lives. Those things that we would consider important in our lives and be present. Because once you lose access to the things that you consider precious to you at one time, sometimes it's really hard to regain them again, if you do at all. So that's what I want to talk about today. Many may be wondering, because uh, I'm calling this the art of being present. What is so artistic? What is so beautiful about uh, being present? In fact, uh, why even come up with this subject? So before we even get started, let's ask ourselves these questions. These are three questions I want you to really ponder on and I want you to really think about as we uh, discuss this today. Number one. Have you become too focused on what's going on around you that you forget about what's going on in front of you? I'll raise my hand to be the first. I'll say I'm guilty of that sometimes. Sometimes we get so preoccupied with our schedules, with work, with uh, other things in our lives. Not saying that they're not important, but we get so preoccupied with the thing that's going on around us that we forget about what's going on in front of us. And what's going on in front of you is more important. What's going on in front of you, such as your family and things like that, that's what's important and that's where you need to be present. Number two, do you future trip? Meaning you place a lot of attention on the future. This can also be associated with weary. I am guilty of that as well. I worry quite a bit about things. And you know what they say. Sometimes we worry about things that we have no control over. Let me give you an example. I had went on vacation not too long ago. <clears throat> I had went to Texas. And got down there, drove my own vehicle. And I noticed that the engine light came on in my car. And you know when your engine light comes on, you start to think the worst. I'm like, oh my God, I'm 14, 15 hours away. I'm future tripping now. I'm 14, 15 hours away. You know, is my insurance gonna cover it? Which they did. Um, is this something really serious? Maybe my engine about to blow up, my car's about to blow up. I'm future tripping. And, and I, I was thinking to myself, and the, the person that I was with, the people that I was with was telling me, Henry's gonna be okay, it's probably nothing wrong. I was texting my friends, I don't know how I'm gonna get back home, my car is messing up the engine. And these are things that I was creating in my mind, this was prior to going to get the car diagnosed. And I take it to get it diagnosed and it was nothing what I was thinking in my mind. I was future tripping. 
I was worrying. I was creating anxiety and fear for myself. And when you find out that the things that you worry about the most, it, it may not even come out to be anything like that when it's all said and done. Kind of find out when I went and got the car diagnosed, it was just something very minor. And they went in and fixed it. And on top of that, I had warranty, enough warranty on my car where they covered it where I didn't have to pay anything. Because that was one of the things I was future tripping about too. I wanted not to have to pay anything. I just worked uh, all this and save all this money for this trip. And I want to go shop. And I got, now I got to give all, these are, I tell you, that's what, that's the power of future tripping. Which leads into number three, we create imaginations that doesn't exist in real time or reality. Do you create imaginations that don't exist? Sometimes we create ideas and things in our mind that's not a reality. Like I said, some of the stuff that you worry about and worry is normal, but some of the things that you worry about, keep in mind, it may not even turn out that way. And then once you find out it don't turn out the way you think it should turn out, in your favor, and that's a good thing, you look back and say, why did I even worry about that to begin with? Sometimes I have to remind myself of that. When I start to worry about bills or worry about this or worry about that, you have to think about the positive aspect of it. Henry, when was there ever a time where you've ever been late on your rent? You've always managed. Sometimes I worry about my daughter. I worry about her future. I worry about you know, uh, what it's going to be like for her. That's normal because I care for her. But also, you don't want to stay in the same state of weary, too. You don't want to create imagination in your mind that doesn't exist. They don't exist. But because you thought it, it it's becoming a reality in your mind, even though in real life it's not really being played out that way. So, when we focus or give our energy and attention to things that's not really important, we lose focus on what's really important. We really do. We lose focus on what's really important. And when you are not present, we are literally losing time that you could never regain again, like with family, friends, and loved ones. Because like I said, life can throw some things at you and you, you will automatically just start to forget. You'll sort of forget about all those things that's in front of you that's really important. Those things that's in front of you that really do matter. Time does not stop for us. That's why it's important to be present. Time does not stop for us. Time keeps going. We have 24 hours in a day, 7 days a week, 365 days in a year. It's all about what you make of your time. Even as it relates to people you love and care about, be present, spend time with them, never give too much attention to anything that's not a priority in your life. Never do that, because like I said, this is time you may never see again, especially as of recently, like everybody, and this has been going on, but um, a lot of people have been passing away from one thing or another, and some of us have had family members passed away. You will never see them again unless you see them, unless you see them on the other side. But some of you are probably regretting right now. I wish I would have spent more time with my parents. I wish I would spent more time with my brother or my sister. Now they're gone. That's because you weren't present while they were here. Don't beat yourself up. Be present in other areas. And get, being present simply means to be, to engage, to participate, to be part of something no matter no matter if that's a church or a community whatever it is that you consider a priority in your life be present in that some people struggle to remain present this is really difficult as life comes with many interruptions it really does my encouragement to you is to live inside the grace of today i've heard one of my deep dear friends say that live inside the grace of today not tomorrow today because what's going on today is what's going on in front of you. What's going on today is what's really important to you. Enjoy the moment. Embrace the moment. Embrace what's in front of you. Never take life or anything for granted. Embarking on a journey to be more present can, be, can uh, bring benefits that will ripple out through every aspect 
of your life. Being present means being fully engaged, mindfulness. Being present uh, means strengthens your ability to concentrate, filtering out all the distractions around you, filtering out everything that's around you that's causing you to lose your focus. Sometimes it's good to just get away and just meditate. Meditate. We're going to talk about that in the, uh, here in a few seconds. Sometimes it's good to just meditate to clear your mind, filter out all the drama, no matter what's going on in your relationship, your marriage, work life. Just get somewhere and just take a few deep breaths, put on some classical music, go sit by some water or a lake or somewhere and just detox. Clear your mind. Refocus on what's important. Those things around you that's going on around you is not, not that important. Focus on what's important. Filter out everything in your life that's not a priority, that's not important. Sometimes being present can come through meditation. Sometimes you have to rewire or retrain your brain. Shut everything down and be present. It's rewarding, it really is. The best way to stay present is by showing gratitude and focusing on one thing at a time. Do you do that? Focus on one thing at a time. This will require you to work on your own thoughts and train your mind to be present. Sometimes we have to train our mind to be present. We really do. I've, I know me personally, I've, I've had to train my mind to be present. I have to rewire and retrain my mind because sometimes I get very and easily distracted. This, this can happen in many ways. The news can cause a distraction. What's going on, on in the political world can cause a distraction. What's going on at work. And before you know it, you're lost in your distractions where you don't have time to be present anymore. You're missing out on so much because of what's going on around here that you're not being present in a very moment. The best way to stay present, like I said, is by showing gratitude. Um, we weary, we become overwhelmed. It's okay, that's part of the human experience. But even in these things, we can still find our way back to ourselves and maintain inner peace and happiness. As I go to a close, ask yourself today, am I truly present? I mean, seriously, ask yourself, am I truly present or am I lost in my distractions? Am I truly filtering out everything that's going on around me so I can maintain this peace and happiness that only life can give? That only you can give yourself, nobody else can give you happiness? You are in control of your own happiness? That's an important question you need to ask yourself. I want you to think about that this week, okay? Make sure you follow us on youtube.com backslash Henry Harris 100. Also follow us on Facebook.com, The Brother Henry and You Show. I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much for being my friend for all these years. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. We hope you have enjoyed today's program. We want to connect with you. Visit us at facebook.com slash the Brother Henry and You Show or visit us on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Henry Harris 100. We're so grateful you tuned in today and hope you have a fantastic day.